It's imperative that you begin with fresh whole beans roasted specifically for espresso. Grind only as much coffee as you'll use within 10 minutes. Grinders generally come with recommended grind settings for coarser or finer grounds, but these can be adjusted as needed. Most baristas agree that the best grind size is the one that results in a shot that pulls in 22 to 28 seconds. Fill the hopper and activate the grinder for about 15 to 20 seconds. Many grinders require that a lever doser be pulled forward repeatedly as the coffee is ground. This action dispenses the ground coffee into the portafilter. There are approximately 8 grams per single shot and 16 per double shot. Remember, only grind the amount of coffee needed within the next 10 minutes. After you have dosed your coffee, you're ready to settle the grounds. Firmly tap the portafilter against a hard surface in order to settle the grounds into the basket. Use a light tap. If the grounds mound up over the rim of the portafilter, level them off with your finger. Don't use any downward pressure. Simply run your finger over the top of the basket and use your fingertip to wipe away any remaining grounds on the rim of the portafilter. Tamping the grounds ensures uniformity of the extraction. Leveling and packing the grounds will ensure consistent water contact as it's forced through the coffee. Good tamping is imperative for full flavor and proper brew time. Here is the manual tamp process. First, place the portafilter so the base is on a flat, stable surface. Hold the tamper firmly in one hand and the portafilter's handle firmly in the other. Place the tamp on top of the grounds so it's parallel to their surface and not angled. Now, you're ready to tamp. Press downward with 30 to 40 pounds of pressure. You can use a scale to get an idea of how much pressure you're applying. Once your shot is tamped, you're ready to connect the portafilter to the group head. The portafilter has three flanges that slip upward into the group head and then lock it in place when the portafilter is rotated. Place the appropriate cup under the group head. Press the button for the size shot you want to pull. Ristretto, espresso, lungo, single or double. The espresso machine will send pressurized water into the grounds. Push the button and start a timer or stopwatch. This will help you with the next step, observing the extraction. Observing the shot closely will tell you what you can do better next time and give you a hint as to whether or not the shot is correct. Here's what to watch for. Mouse tails, also known as tails, are the two streams of espresso that pour from the portafilter as the shot is extracted and has the consistency of warm honey. Although they may start off drippy, they should even out into a smooth stream a few seconds after the extraction begins. Time. Extraction should take around 22 to 28 seconds. Using a timer or stopwatch will help ensure that your shots are pulled within acceptable extraction times and will help standardize your shot pulling process. The volume of espresso for each shot should be one ounce. The brewing time you're looking for is between 22 and 28 seconds. So if you're running too long or too short, check your grind, dose and tamp, then adjust it accordingly. Color. The ideal shot will finish a deep brown. As it pours into the shot glass, you'll see three distinct layers form. The cream is light brown and forms the top layer and sweetest part of the espresso shot. The body makes up the middle of the shot and should be a caramel brown color. The heart is the very bottom of the espresso shot and provides the acidic balance to the crema's sweetness. It should be a deep, rich brown color. Taste. Ultimately, it comes down to producing a shot that provides a balance between being full-bodied, acidic, with a nice finish, and long-lasting, pleasant aftertaste. The mouthfeel you'll get is somewhat like melted butter on your tongue. It should linger in a pleasant way. Although your shot is done, there are a few steps to take before you're ready to pull a new one. Remove the portafilter by unlocking it and flush the group. Flip the portafilter and knock the portafilter against the padded bar that runs through the center of the knock box. The puck should come out. If not, knock it again. Wipe the filter basket clean with the dedicated towel and return it to the group head. This pre-warms it for the next shot. Now you're ready to steam or froth milk for espresso drinks like lattes, cappuccinos, and macchiatos.